Oh, whoa there. You watch where you're going now. I'm sorry, Mr. Beach, I will. Students. If we could just get rid of all the students. When I'm a software jillionaire and you're a flippin' burger, who's the loser? French, I said. How hard can it be? French babies learn it. Idiot. I swear, someday my pants are gonna fall right off. Buffy's so beautiful. I mean, oh, look at that body. God, I'd love to shove against that log right now and just... Ooh. Is this the thing? The aspect thing? Because I gotta say, if it is, it is way better than a tail. I mean, I have a hard enough time as it is finding jeans that fit right. Buffy, slow down. Um, I'm, I'm not even convinced that... This is genuine mind reading. I mean, you, you're most likely projecting your. When I walked in a few minutes ago, you thought, look at her shoes. If a fashion magazine told her to, she'd wear cat strapped to her feet. I am. Um, the demons are telepathic. I should have known. That's why they don't need mouths. Of course. The demons are telepathic. I know. You just told me. That's why they don't need mouths. And you should have known. Uh, uh, this is astounding. It was happening out in the hallway. I mean, Principal Snyder has walked like an Egyptian stuck in his head. And the boys of the school are seriously disturbed. It's weird, but Giles, think about it. I mean, think about what I could do. Yeah, it could be very useful. You could uh, anticipate your opponent's every move. You could uh, turn his plans against him. Oh, way better than that. Jealousy. Buffy. Right. Very good. Jealousy I knew that. clearly is the tool that Iago uses to undo Othello. But what's his motivation? What reason does Iago give for destroying his superior officer? Cassio has my place. Twixt my sheets, he's done my office. Well, he was passed over for promotion. Cassio was picked instead. And people were saying that Othello slept with his wife. Buffy did the reading? Buffy understood the reading? When did she study? Was I supposed to study? Miss Murray's kind of hot. I was going to say Cassio. Ugh, I hate her. Any other reason? Race. Um, good, Nancy. Can't overlook that. Look at them like scrambling now, for the teacher's praise like pigeons for old bread crusts. You can make the argument well, that the two who's that guy? It's Freddie Iverson. He writes those editorials for the school paper. He's so atomic. Bread crusts. That's deep. I should write that down. Is there something else at work here? Well, he, um, he sort of admits himself that his motives are spurious. He, um, he does things because he enjoys them. It's like he's not, he's not really a person. He's a, the dark half of Othello himself. Whoa. Whoa. Buffy. Really? Very astute. I said something quite like that in my dissertation. I know. I, I mean, I agree with that. Yes, and doesn't that also explain Othello's readiness to believe Iago? Within seconds, he turns on Desdemona. He believes that she's been unfaithful. And we're all like that. We all have our little internal Iagos that tell us our husbands or our girlfriends or whatever don't really love us. We can never really see what's in someone's heart.